Okay, so you make music. You're a rapper, singer, songwriter, producer. Maybe you're in a band. You obsess over the process. You obsess over the recording and the writing and the tweaking and the mixing and the mastering. But what next? How are you going to also make that vision of 50,000, 100,000 people showing up for you a reality when you can't even... What's going on guys? Adam Ivey, sellmusic.com, here to help you go further, faster in your music career by sharing proven marketing techniques and strategies to help transform that passion for making music and turn it into a legitimate business that's gonna provide you with freedom and fulfillment, two of the most important things in life in general. Now, time and time and time again, I see people just like you and I who make music, who are excited about the process, standing in the corner with their tail between their legs, afraid to build their brand and be heard. Something I need to talk to you guys about today is the unfair advantage that is available to each and every one of us called being on camera and speaking to an audience. So many times I see people say, Adam, I don't, I don't like social media, Adam. I don't like YouTube. I don't know what to do. I, I'm not good on camera. I'm ugly. My message is you know, going to be shot down because I have these views on religion or politics. And I'm just like, what is your issue? You're complaining about a whole lot of opportunity to be judged. Back in the day, we didn't have any opportunity to be judged because our voice couldn't couldn't be heard. And that's why I get so heated about this, guys. An unfair advantage for you and I is just what you're doing right now, watching my message. What's your message? What's your face look like? Because a whole lot of people in this world are afraid to be on camera. Therefore, if you could step past that box of comfort, the comfort zone, as we all call it, you could be on a whole different level, a whole different level real fast. And it's not just about being on camera. I don't want you guys to think that I did a whole YouTube video on, you gotta be on camera, okay, check you next time. It's about the repetition and being comfortable, being able to look at a lens, being able to have a message and being able to portray that message in an accurate way that's really gonna land with the target audience. Something that I highly recommend all my students do when they're kind of a little bashful on camera or they're afraid to do captions on Instagram or TikTok or YouTube is to do it repeatedly for two weeks. It's kind of like the whole premise of if you catch your kid smoking a cigarette, you make him smoke the whole pack until he's so disgusted with it that he'll never do it again. I've never done that, thank God, but when it comes to videos, it's similar because think about it. If you do a video or multiple videos every single day, it doesn't matter if it's with a camera, it doesn't matter if it's with a phone, do that every day for two weeks. By the end of that two weeks, you're gonna be so sick of the fact that you haven't posted anything. You're gonna be a whole lot more comfortable on camera you just have to get that repetition underneath your belt to say, you know what, this isn't as bad as I thought it was at first. A whole lot of times we look into a dark cavern of the unknown, the unexperienced, the software and the different tools that we really should utilize to build our brand and business. And we say, oh, I, don't, I don't know how to do that. Or that, that costs $3 a month. I, I don't know if it's gonna be worth it. Like how, how can I guarantee that it's gonna give me a return? Yet we never jump in with both feet. Those who do, jump, who do jump in with both feet and kind of get the repetition and get that experience under their belt are ultimately the people that are already five steps ahead, even if they suck at it because they're doing it and we're not. You have an incredible unfair advantage when it comes to YouTube. Visual platforms such as Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest for that matter, to be able to go out and start sharing your message. One thing that gets under my skin, and I really want you to hear me out to the end of this video, is that so many of you spend time, effort, energy creating visualizer videos, having a graphic designer work on a cool logo and a bunch of different stock images that you piece together in Photoshop or Giphy or what, or not Giphy, um, Pixlr or whatever. You could have a ton of content showing you, showing your face. I have a bunch of videos on YouTube showing how to do creative self-portraits by yourself with a cheap phone. Why aren't you utilizing that? Do you think that your message isn't valuable enough for people to care? Is that a limiting belief that you might be living by? Do you think that you're unattractive? Do you think that you have to have a fancy camera, hundreds of dollars in lighting, a fancy set, people to hold a camera, a gimbal, a drone? I know a whole lot of people that bought drones that never use them, including myself. It's all excuses as far as holding yourself back. Once we can find that confidence and find our niche and find our groove, it's a whole lot easier to be able to smile and have confidence in the way we step, the way we walk, the way we deliver our message to the world. I'm not sitting here trying to be a, an, an a-hole or anything, but the fact of the matter is a lot of us are very good at making music. I know the majority of you guys watching this right now have a passion for making music, but where's the passion for being a jack of all trades? Where the, where's the passion for actually 
being able to, to make that dream a reality as far as if you're planning on being on stage in some of the grandest arenas in the world, you shouldn't be afraid to be on 15 people's Instagram feed, you know, as we start to grow our business and, and grow our brand. Another thing I want you to do right now is write down a list of limiting beliefs that you think are holding you back from growing on YouTube. Maybe it's the lack of knowledge of how to actually grow a channel accurately, and I have videos for that. A lot of videos on YouTube will help you get in the right direction. Is it something that maybe people in high school, your family told you that you're just wasting your time, you're not good enough, you're not attractive enough, only the rich succeed when it comes to this, only the beautiful will prosper. I'm telling you right now, as a guy who's, I'm not, you know, uh, David Beckham, I'm not like a male model or anything like that, but I'm confident in who I am. You see me in videos sitting in my bed recently without my hair done with crappy lighting. And I mean, shout out to Ricky and Danny for helping me with that again. But um, the point is, you are an individual. I'm an individual. And if we have a message, if we have a talent, if we have a gift, we have to use every avenue, every vehicle that we can get our hands on to be able to deliver that to the world. Otherwise, you're holding yourself back. You're doing yourself a disservice. If you want to get up on stage, get a lot of people to support the fact that they want you up on stage and maybe they'll start with a show of 100 people, 10 people, 1,000 people, and then work your way up to some of these incredibly, maybe you'll sell out the garden. That would be incredible. Madison Square Garden in New York City, one of the most prolific venue, uh, venues for, for music and who knows what else. Guys, we have to kind of sit back and call ourselves on our own bullshit sometimes. The fact of the matter that you're not growing on YouTube, the fact of the matter that you're not growing on Instagram or TikTok, isn't because the algorithm's holding you back, as I've talked about in other videos. It might be because you're shy. It might be because all of a sudden when you get up on camera, you're a little bit more introverted. And I can attest to that specifically because go watch my old videos. That's pretty cringe. But doing it over and over and over again makes you a true practitioner makes you way more fluid and fluent in the language of these platforms. I can't sit there and hold your hand if I showed up at your house tomorrow with all my fancy gear and a teleprompter and all this other stuff. I'm not using a teleprompter, by the way, but I could bring one. It wouldn't make a difference because you're not practiced. I wanna see you guys on camera. I wanna hear about your music. I wanna see you do music videos. Side note, if you want me to do a video on how to make your own music video just by yourself, solo, how to shoot an actual watchable, enjoyable music video by yourself, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to help you get in the right direction with that and show you some techniques that I've used and some techniques that I know some of my filmmaker friends use on a regular basis, because it's, it's, it's possible. It's all possible. I don't want you to say that COVID is holding you back from turning your, turning your camera on and starting a YouTube channel or doing a vlog, or doing something fun, to even start sharing with your friends and family at first. Because I want you to be confident in what you do. If you're confident in the music that you're making, if you're not confident in the music that you're making, it can all change with repetition, it can all change with improving, it can all change with feedback from friends, family, and strangers that could then eventually become a super fan of yours. Are you afraid to start on YouTube? Are you afraid to get on camera? Do you get anxiety when you turn that camera towards yourself? Let me know in the comments below because that's something that even to this day, sometimes when I turn this camera on and I'm staring at you guys in the eyeballs, I'm like, oh man, like my hair's not right. My, you know, I might have a couple pimples or the lighting's not, I'm just not feeling it, whatever. Like, I don't give a shit. Like it doesn't affect our relationship here on YouTube. Just because I have flawless hair half the time, not long enough to do that. Guys, let me know in the comments below if this is something that's been holding you back and what you're going to do, the repetition that you're going to put in. Are you going to follow along with the exercise I gave you earlier to do a video every day for 14 days straight? And then by then you'll be begging me, Adam, I need to post these. You're wasting all my time. I'm posting, I'm shooting these. What do I do with them? Post them. Feel confident in that. And if you want to learn to grow your channel, if you want to learn how to grow your presence, watch this video next. This is absolutely going to help you. I need to get over this fear with you guys. I need to help you through it. So come connect with me over on Instagram so we can share these different strategies, these different techniques and visuals. Join the channel family by smashing that little button and then hitting that bell icon so you can be notified first anytime I upload a video just like this. I hope I helped. Look forward to talking to you guys soon.